from uh, the rest. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, rest. the, the question <laughs> I think that uh, uh, Sufi is asking is why is this being presented as if it is it's different? Yeah, like it's uh, a one-off incident. It's actually something that happens every day. Yeah. You know, and this sort of, I mean, we might, we might call it the big man syndrome that we still mm -hmm. have, you know. Um, they, they, I mean, uh, he, he says it's an exception. Actually, it's not. <laughs> it's more the rule. You know, um, the CIC has just pointed out a series of events, you know, a series of uh, uh, incidents where legislators, governors have behaved badly and nothing happens. You know, we encounter it every day on our roads, you know. And there's this tag they have, honorable, you know, that they think then makes yeah. any conduct yeah. honorable, you know, honorable. <laughs> which is ridiculous. Jeffrey, quickly understand before we move on. I'll, 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 I'll agree with you. Yeah. I'll agree with you. Yes. It happens every single day. Uh, not just members of parliament, even ordinary Kenyans. You, once you've been caught in trouble, you want to drop names. You want to call so and so. You want to tell those police, you know, I know so and so. Let me call so and so. Isn't it? That's a form of intimidation. But I'll say this. Uh, probably this Ketel thing uh, um, uh, was one of its kind because it was caught on camera. These other incidents are not been caught mm -hmm. on here. But compared with what happened with Honare Kosonko, mm -hmm. a government operation, a minister for agriculture, is leading a government operation to evict people who are illegally staying in the government land uh, owned by the ministry. Then the, uh, the, the, the senator goes, calls the president, puts mm -hmm. the president on speakerphone, and then the operation is stopped. So what has the uh, senator done? He has literally intimidated the minister who was leading a government operation. Mm 